What do I have for tanks? Not much, huh? Please tell me you're looking the other way. Bye! <laughs> Poor guy. Arras is one of the best maps in Battlefield 5. Today, I will share all the tips, tricks, tactics and strategies that I use to dominate on this map. 9 times out of 10, my team will win the game. I will have the highest score and the most kills. After this video, you will have all the information necessary to do exactly the same. So, let's get started. Arras is all about the Echo Flag and to some extent about the Bravo Flag. This is where most of the action happens. These two flags are the biggest kill zones on Arras and this is where you want to be because you want to become the biggest killer, right? You have the weapons for it with the MG34 and the MG42, so go for it and do what you do best. The great thing about the Echo Flag is that the more that the surrounding buildings get destroyed, the easier it will become for you to make kills. The destroyed walls will allow you to deploy your bipod on them and the destroyed upper floors will provide you with interesting angles on your enemies. Outside of the city you will find the smaller walls that you can use for cover and also as a space to mount your bipod on. So plan your attack alongside these walls because they will give you the upper hand. Stay close to these walls because they will keep you alive much longer as well and they will also allow you to make more kills. We all saw the trailer of Battlefield 5 and we all saw the sniper sitting in the bell tower when he gets blown up by the tank. A more efficient way to use this bell tower is with an MG. It provides you with a stable firing position. You have the high ground and you can perfectly cover the echo flag from over here. You have a laser weapon with an infinite supply of ammunition. So what do you want more? It's going to be very difficult for the enemy team to kill you when you're up here with a few guys. The only thing that you have to watch out for is when the enemy team decides to blow up your beloved bell tower. On this map, with an MG, you will always have to look for an angle. Basically, you constantly have to flank your enemy, because you will have to lie down and deploy your bipod in order to have a stable firing position, otherwise you can't ADS. So try to find an overlooking position that provides you with a reasonable amount of cover, and then kill everything and everyone from there. The best flanking maneuvers are the sneakiest ones. Try not to expose yourself when you find yourself within a few meters of an enemy squad. Flank them, get the angle on them and then take them out one by one. The enemy will think that their smoke is covering them, but actually it's blinding them and as soon as they come out they will run straight into your line of fire. The poor guys never had a chance. Try to stay quiet as long as possible and use your hatchet for example to make a clean kill without alerting the rest of the guys. Then move in and get behind the enemy team. Deploy your bipod behind them and pick your targets. Try to take out the biggest threats first. But don't stay on the wall when you have to reload. You will expose yourself with no chance to fight back. Instead, reload from safety. That way, when the remaining players turn around, they won't see anything and they won't bother searching for the guy who took out half of their bodies. Then repeat. Mount your bipod again and take out the remaining guys and as soon as it's clear, relocate and fight from a different location. You have a lot of elevation on Arras, which is perfect to deploy your bipod and to overlook the flag while killing everything and everyone that even tries to come close. For example, on the Bravo flag, the best spot for you would be over here, in the very corner of the capture zone, covered by the bushes behind you while having the high ground and the stable firing position. You can capture the flag from here, so there is no real need to go any further. You are very difficult to spot because of all of the bushes around you and your gun outperforms most other guns so you will always have the upper hand. If you want to capture a flag then one thing that you can do is to drive your vehicle over to the flag, get out and lie down. This will allow you to fire properly with the MG34 or 42. Forget about hip fire unless you really have to. Initially crawl around from kill to kill until you can get a better position. That way you can always fire at your enemies because your bipod will stay deployed. You better watch out when you get close to these cornfields. Most players think that they are safe in here and they will hide in these fields waiting for the enemy to come close. What most of them don't know is that these corn plants will move from left to right when a player moves around in them. This is your clue to where you should shoot. I don't know about you, but I always have that Jurassic Park feeling when I see these fields. It reminds me about the raptors that hunt in them. If you decide to go for the other flags, then use the same tactic as when you want to capture the Bravo flag. Attack from the high side so that you will have an overlooking position. It will allow you to kill all the enemies who are defending this flag. 
For example, on the Charlie flag, you can do it from this side that you see over here. So, never attack from the low side, unless you want to fight with a disadvantage. The high side will allow you to use these destroyed tanks as cover and as a place to deploy your bipod on. You can also build sandbags when you get close to the Charlie flag and use those for cover and bipod deployment. A smart tank driver will stick to the surrounding flags. He will fight over those flags because there he has everything that he needs. Just enough cover, big open fields, flags that are spread out and the enemy doesn't really have the opportunity to sneak up behind him so he only has to cover one side. A less gifted tank driver will drive his tank all the way up to the echo flag, right in the middle of the city. Why do they do that? I really don't know. They have limited maneuverability, a limited line of sight, enemies all over the place and they can come from all different angles. Basically, you're a sitting duck with nowhere to go. If you happen to find one of these guys, then you have to become a sneaky bastard like I showed you in Battlefield 1. So sneak up behind the tank, place your AT mines right behind them and then shoot them so that they will blow up. This is by far the best and fastest way to destroy a tank. You will get an insta kill on the most powerful land vehicle in Battlefield 5. Just for info guys, I recently started streaming Battlefield 5, so you're more than welcome to join me live on Twitch so that you can see these tactics in action. You now have all the information that you need to dominate on Aras. Use the MG34 or the MG42 and apply everything that you saw in this video. Soon you will be the one who is constantly dominating the scoreboard on this map. In the meantime, if you think that this video is worthy, would you mind leaving a like and maybe even subscribe if you want to know more about Battlefield 5. This was Fog of Gaming. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the battlefield.